Hello, everybody, um, and welcome to another game of Tiny Towns at High Noon. Um, I am Josh Wood, the developer of Tiny Towns. We are um, here with some of the regular cast, um, as well as a special guest. Um, we have, of course, Vlad, um, you know, doing all of our tech stuff today. Hi, everyone. We have the designer of Tiny Towns, Pete McPherson. Howdy. We Howdy. Have, we have John Zinzer, the owner of AEG. Boy, and, howdy. And we have uh, Ryan Dancy. Hello. Hey, I got a story about Ryan Dancy. So, <laughs> Ryan, a couple of weeks ago, about a week ago, week and a half ago, uh, Ryan got yeah. a flat tire on his bike and he chained his bike up to go get help and came back and the bike was stolen. And today, a bike shop called him and said, Hey, we found your super expensive bike. Somebody's trying to sell it to us. Oh, we congrats. That bike back. I don't know if that awesome. story was, was more important than me uh, introducing our guest for today, the <laughs> artist um, of Santa Monica, um, and, and my, my friend Jeremy Wynn. Woohoo! I'm so Welcome, Jeremy. I was to today and they wouldn't, they wouldn't take the bike that I was trying to sell. <laughs> <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't take the bike. <laughs> No. Like the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone out there. Uh, this is just a reminder to uh, like and uh, you know share the stream. The more people we get, we can do more giveaways, better stuff for for everyone. So uh, please share this on your social media and all that wonderful stuff. Um, and um, uh, you know we're gonna start off. Um, you know, Pete, would you like to um, show everyone the cards that we are playing with today? Certainly. We have, as always, the cottage for our red building. We have the greenhouse. Our gray building is the fountain. For orange, we have the abbey. I hate the abbey. For yellow, we it. have the bakery. Green is the inn. And black is the factory. This is a low point setup. It's going to be very interesting. Lots of options. Yes, low low points for sure out there. And I gotta say, Pete, um, your Tiny Town Sport looks very like psychedelic with the uh, wave length box underneath it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought it was a nice look. So uh, we've had a few guests lately who've been bold enough, like Jeremy here, to display their board, which most of right. the stagers do not. So. Um, Yes, that's, that's I might very brave. Do Jeremy. I'm trying to I have a, follow I have suit a here. tiny desk. I have a tiny desk and like no room to do it. And I remember the first day I did it, like I had to stack it up like to like my chest, and it was like I thought this would look too weird for people um, on screen. <laughs> um, all right, shall we get started? We shall. Before you okay. start, Josh, I'm just gonna say hi to David, Thomas, Ernest, Leslie, Amy. Oh. Julian and Theodore, who are here with us in the chat today. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of people. I should actually head back over to um, Facebook to um, sort of monitor some of that stuff. Um, my good all right, friend everybody. Joey is watching. Thanks for watching, Joey. First up, we're starting off with a stone. A stone. A stone. A stone. Good start, good start. There's nothing like a fresh Tiny Towns board. <laughs> right? Yes. It's full it of possibilities in the world. Mm -hmm. Anything could happen. Wheat is next. Wheat. Wheat. And that's the moment when you start seeing your empire Wheat, crumble. you say. What am I doing? <laughs> that's right. That's right. The Empire lasted two calls and it started to crumble. Yep. Yep. That is something that happens where you, where you feel like everything's fine and then four seconds later, everything is disaster. I, I was doing great yesterday until brick, 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 brick. brick. <laughs> I wasn't the caller yesterday, Wild. so don't put that on me. <laughs> All right. And then now it is dealer's choice. Place anything that you would like onto your board. I'm going to put up brick out there um so so jeremy why don't you tell people a little bit about what you do besides um you know illustrating uh santa monica 
Yeah. Uh, hi, guys. I'm, I illustrated Santa Monica with Josh. Um, and yes, my, my day job is basically freelancing as an illustrator. I do a lot of New Yorker cartoons here and there. And I am coming out with a couple of books where I've illustrated some, you know, guide to being a first time dad. And yeah, so I do a lot of drawing. Uh, and I've been lucky to be drawing a lot more even during COVID too. So this is kind of amazing time to be working i guess i guess it yeah. is one of those jobs it's, it's, that you can not, yeah uh, jeremy have you ever considered just like living abroad and just like <laughs> you know like living in in like france and then just being able to work yeah pretty much i you know i work exclusively all on ipad and um i can definitely take my workspace everywhere so neat Wheat yeah. is your next call of one wheat. Yeah, start, you know, Josh. I'm sorry. Not a good start. Oh, yeah. Good start. I, yeah, I'm not a fan of wheat. I agree. <laughs> I agree. This is not starting off well. Can, can you give us Don't another wheat, can... Josh, just to make it a full wheat week? Nope, I'm giving you a brick. I'm giving you a brick. Um, so, you, you know, you, you, you mentioned how you just work on an iPad and how you can work uh, remotely, Jeremy. And um, so for Santa Monica, uh, Jeremy actually flew out to Los Angeles. And then we went between Venice and Santa Monica all day for one day. Uh -huh. And just like, you know, we took like diligent notes and photographs of just like, um, okay. just like door jams and like weird stuff, like very small details. Yeah. Um, the logo for Santa Monica is really pulled from, you know, signage that we saw around town. Yeah. All right. Uh, dealer's Choice is next. Dealer's Choice. It does have a very, be like, very authentic feel to it. You know, I I've been there a couple mm -hmm. times, and, and I just, when I look at that box, when I look at the art, I just feel like I'm there on the beach. I can hear the seagulls and smell the sea yeah. air. It really captured everything about that experience. Thank you. Yeah, no, we, we absolutely were trying to evoke that feeling, of course. If I want to build something, I declare it, right? You can't. I mean, you, can. you, you don't have to, but. So you don't I'm, have to say, like, I'm doing this. You can just do it. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> my favorite pieces in the set is the Santa Monica Pier piece because its perspective is unlike all the other cards. And, like, you just, every time I look at it, I just think, wow, I'm just standing on that beach looking at that pier. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an interesting card because um, uh, stone is next stone um, because you know I designed that card for like the the pier and it, specifically at that angle because that's the angle that you always see the Santa Monica pier but like you know in my original prototype like I drew all uh, like a lot of these cards first I mean they didn't have like a lot of the names and a lot of the fun details to it but um, you, you know. I, my like crummy prototype, the, the pier looked so, like it looked off and like weird, but, I, but like, I was like a real artist will be able to figure that out. And I just kind of wanted to put that pressure on, uh, on Jeremy. And, um, it, it's amazing <laughs> how that pier card or, um, I don't know, Jeremy, do you want to talk about the skate park? I'm going to give everyone a glass, but then yes. do you want to talk about how the skate park, like how that came to be? Oh. Yeah. So, um, it was crazy. I mean, here's the pier and here is the skate park. And, you know, what Josh said earlier was like a very common thing all in pre-production where he was like, you know what, I'll just let you figure it out. I don't <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, and so, yeah, doing the pier like this was very interesting because, yes, of course, we had to fade this beach back into, in, into the background a little more while also not encroaching on the, uh, the, the feature above it. Um, I know he tiled this, these features here and that's kind of unusual for this card. Um, and then, yeah, we also had a skate park, which, you know, if you go to the skate park, it's enormous and it's, you know, so trying to fit it all on one card was quite a challenge. And we were scared that the perspective might change. You know, there's some palm tree cards that are obviously taller than the skate park and some of the lights here. So it was a, it was quite a, a, a challenge to get all of this into one piece and not bleed out to the edge. Yeah, I have absolutely. a couple of questions for you, Josh, from the chat. First one is going to be, 
Josh, I saw your BGG posting about working on a solo mode for Santa Monica. How's that going? And the second question is from Ernest. He's asking, Josh, I always play music while playing my games. Do you suggest anything in particular to go along with the game Santa Monica? Beach Boys. Uh, interesting. So, so I'll answer <laughs> that first question. Yes, the solo mode is going really well. I actually feel like that that the solo mode is like almost done. Like I'm actually really happy with it. Um, there is someone who posted their version of it, and I played their solo version of the game, and it kind of helped me figure it out. I, I I just played Wingspan and Teotihuacan solo mode, and I just kind of played a couple board games solo, and it really helped kind of free that up. So, hopefully, yes, soon there will be one. Um, all right, it's a dealer's choice, everyone. Um, and as far as the question about um, music for uh, playing what was the Santa other question? Monica, oh, music. You know, you know, I have never, I have never um, played uh, m music during uh, board games, so I don't have a good recommendation. I would just play some. I would just probably tell people to like play Weezer or something, like something very like beachy and fun, like playing yeah. in the sun or something lame like that. Yeah. But actually what I think would be good is just if you could find just some like nice calming, like waves crashing, I think it would like really like help you get into that theme. I could see that working for sure. John yeah. Caesar was suggesting Beach Boys. Does anyone has another <laughs> suggestion for that? Uh, Beach Boys is great. Beach Boys are, are probably my favorite band. It, you could put on like a, some Surf's Up or some Pet Sounds. Um, that That's a great suggestion. Put on I love some Jack Boys. Johnson, maybe, <laughs> if you're into Jack John. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there was a, I kept thinking of a dumb system of a down song that mentions Santa Monica in it, and it was just ringing in my head. Let's not give them any money. Let's not give them money. I know, and I was like, I don't want to recommend them, but that was in my head while we were playing, while we were designing so, the drawing. So, some people always talk about the Cheryl Crow song, song, you know, until the sun comes up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Right. Um, this is a wood, everyone. A wood. Okay. The thing I just put in my factory. That's what, <laughs> that's what I just put in my factory too. Don't yeah. think you're. The iron law is in effect. Hmm, low scoring day, low scoring day. That's why you got to figure out the way around it. You got to figure out how you're going to get those points. Stone, right. everyone, stone. Ooh. Oh, what am I going to do with that stone? I hate that stone. Yesterday we have one of those few days when someone actually managed to go into the fifth round of the game. Mm -hmm. with Pete. That was wild. And <laughs> I think this is the second time in 30 games that someone reached round 5th by still playing. What's the longest Tiny Tons game that you have seen, Pete? Mm, um, I, I can't think of like a specific instance. I mean, that had to be up there um, for sure. I would say with all those warehouses and Architects Guild, that's <laughs> definitely up there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. Okay. Just do that. I think I'm supposed to do. I have played around the last over an hour with my family because my family are very slow gamers, which is okay. <laughs> as slow as Josh? A little slower. What do you mean? Josh oh, is not a slow gamer. Josh is a deliberate gamer. Very deliberate. That's thank you. Brick, everyone. Brick. Oh, good. good stuff. Just that one. Time to start the assault on the cottages. <laughs> you know, I never have a problem with a player who takes their time and thinks through their turn and considers what they want to do. Like that never bothers me. What bothers me is when you go to the same person every turn and you have to tell them it's their turn. That mm -hmm. drives me up the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Glass or my glass. glass. Oh, he's beating it up, folks. Speeding it up. Speeding it up. Okay. 
And the final call for the deck is going to be your choice. Your right. choice. The two factory strategy is in effect. Same here. Hey. Here comes the cottages. Jeremy, are you working in any other board game right now? Uh, actually, I, I, I did a, I did a codex or I can't remember the company now, but I did do some artwork for a codex and it's like, there's a hundred different illustrators in it. Um, it's for Cortex Prime. Um, my art director is this, uh, a uh, young woman named Tina Lamb and she's actually a friend of my brother's who saw, uh, Inner Compass at PAX, and she wanted to hire me. So, uh, yeah, there are some board game people reaching out. It's really interesting and Ed. super fun to be a part of. Yeah, Jeremy also uh, did the illustration for um, Inner mm -hmm. Compass, which uh, was a um, which was an earlier release for us this year. All right, everyone. Next up, we have Brick. Right. Yeah, Inner Compass designed by the same guys that designed um, Flamme Rouge. Flamme Rouge. Flamme Rouge. And Deep Blue, and um, they have several games. I know. I think they have like another Deus of Wonder game signed or something. Like they're um, they, yeah, they're they, very they did focused. Did Deep Blue. Deep Blue was very popular at uh, Essen last year. Wheat, everyone. Wheat. Oh, wheat. This is all right. I think I just put on my factory. Yeah, I actually made a huge mistake. How do I rectify <laughs> this? Yes, I can, but I'll have to wait for a different time and day. Okay. Oh, I mean, Amy is actually uh, suggesting that you should try Santa Monica by Every Clear. Uh, she always thinks about that song when she thinks about the game. Mm. Have you heard that? By, by Ever Clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone was saying that to me. Um, all right, dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. I wonder if we should take the time to build like Spotify playlists for our games. That'd be fun. That will be interesting. Yeah. Let's add that to a list of ways for people to waste time so they can say that they're working while they're not actually working. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, holy smokes. Wow. Some serious shade uh, thrown, thrown here today. Right. Um, Welcome, Jeremy. You're right in the middle of it. I know. And after, I, after I, all I, the I, nice... I, listen, Jeremy's work ethic is unbelievable. I saw those guys crushing it at the Larkstone house, so I have no shade to throw in his direction. But I was part of that, and but you're still throwing shade in my direction. After after all, John, I I put your pizza place, John's Pizza, in the game of Santa Monica. John's of California. I had to beg you to put it in there. You I say, beg you. You <laughs> say <laughs> glass, Josh? I'm sorry? Did you say glass after that player's choice? No, I haven't said anything. It is a wood after that player's choice. A wood. wood. Um... I, um, so, so Jeremy had just gotten done with a pizza place in the game called California <laughs> Crust, right. and there was planned to be one pizza place in Santa Monica, and then after Jeremy had finished this piece and we showed it to my boss, he asked me, he said, no, it has to be my pizza place, <laughs> and so the real story is that I had to cut a different building from mine to put in your pizza place. So, yep. So now there's two pizza places uh, <laughs> that you can. Yeah. Don't that's worry, the, Santa Monica's famous for their pizza. That's the way I would tell that. That's the way I would tell that story. <laughs> that's the safe way of telling that story, Josh. Right. Wheat. Wheat. Wheat is the next one. I'm out of wheat. You're killing me, Smalls. All right, I'm going to deviate from my all cottage plan today to build one in because my monument is the archive of the second age. So I'm just going to pick up an extra yeah. PP there by building one thing other than a cottage. Yeah, yeah. If you can use squeeze in that one abbey, because it's like that abbey's worth four points. It's that's a good move. Right. Good point. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh. 
Oh, I'm going to shuffle that back in. That was supposed to be dealer's choice. Sorry. No problem. The secret. Dealer's choice. Dealer's, dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. Mm. I'm going to put in a brick. Last time. Ooh, I'm putting an N in there. Feel like I should build that second warehouse. Stone. Stone is next up. My first um, so Jeremy, do you have a favorite piece in the game? Do you have one that you feel like very proud of or that you feel like is awesome? In Santa Monica. Yes. Yeah, I mean, obviously we love Dandy. Dandy's Dapper Donuts. <laughs> the best. Yeah, we've heard about that before. It. Our guest yes. yesterday said that, that was their favorite, and that's maybe my favorite. Yeah. Um, I do really like Flex of Sand, um, which is Flex the muscle of sand that's of the Santa Monica. Muscle beach party. That's Fun another one that I told you to do, and, and I feel like you were like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's a lot of just like weird exactly. stuff all through them. Right, because you have the monuments, the you know, the big concrete uh, blocks, and then you also have the workout space. And trying to put that all on the concrete um, just didn't work. So we put the monument on the beach and the fitness area in the front on the concrete. It was just weird, and then we just didn't have a cool name for it. So yeah, wood, wood is next. Yeah, for so for naming. Um, we spent a, um, a lot of time just trying to come up with like funny, clever names for all the different, uh, buildings. And it mostly consisted of me coming up with a pond and then Jeremy be like, mm, I think I can do better. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, we're not muscle heads. We don't know what kind of words you can use <laughs> to reflect working out. So yeah, we we saw Muscle Beach. We 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 looked at Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. They have a uh, Muscle Sands. Yeah, and sand got in our heads, and and you know, Flex of Sand just worked out. Um, dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. Um, I will say that I feel like I try to think what the best pun is in the game. It it's probably Scoopsy Daisy. Has to be, yeah. Um, I, cause I think I like scoop. So scoopsy daisies is not only one of my favorite illustrations in the game. Um, but it's like one of the best name buildings. And I liked it so much that we, I knew we were going to have a little ice cream cart somewhere on the beach. And then I said that we should make it like the rival and the rival is vanilla daffodilla. And so the idea is that there's like two plant based, um, yeah. Rival, um, you know, yeah, vanilla uh, daffodilla was the one that came first, and it's the successful, you know, push cart. And then somebody wanted to come and knock them off, make scoopsy daisies, have a <laughs> brick and mortar store, <laughs> and kill them, just kill the competition. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I, I actually always thought, like, so one of them is like, you know, a big fan for tourists, and then the other one's for the locals. And I like the idea that, like, Tourists come and they go, yeah, there's some like flower based ice cream store we're supposed to go to. And they always accidentally go to the other one. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> All right. Wheat, everyone. Wheat. So, John Sincer, uh, we are going to have a Kickstarter soon. Can you tell us about that Kickstarter? Might be able to. Let me place that wheat first. <laughs> sure. We have a serious. cover coming soon called Dead Reckoning. It is a card crafting 4X pirate game from our in-house, I mean, in-house designer, our, our mostly in-house designer, John D. Clare, who designed Mystic Veil vale and Edge of Darkness and my favorite Space Base. And Space Base. Space Base. Play on Fridays now here at noon. Um, it is... Uh, go ahead, Josh. You can call another one. I can tell you're just you're ready to call one. There you, there you go. I like that one. Uh, it is a game um, 
about exploring the deep end of the seas and controlling islands and um, uh, going on adventures, building up your crew, building up your ship. You can be a merchant, you can be a pirate, you can be a privateer. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to play the game that really sort of make you feel like you are in a first class swashbuckling game. You can learn all about it if you go to alderac.com slash dead dash reckoning. Dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. I'm just going to share that with the chat. So yeah, we'd really go. appreciate it if you're interested. Uh, if, you're, if you're interested in that game, uh, just click the links and uh, click the remind me button on Kickstarter so you'll get notified when that project goes live. And you know, you can really, really help us pushing out that reckoning by sharing it with the rest of yes. the people you know on your social media. We had put a lot of effort on trying to create this amazing game. We are more than sure that you're gonna like it. The mechanics are awesome. The art is amazing by Anno Tool, by the way. And second best illustrator. Help us. Second best illustrator, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the second best illustrator in the industry. And if you can help us to spread out the world, we will really appreciate it. And we hope that you yeah. enjoy the game when it's out. For sure. Brick, everyone. Brick. Brick is good. Brick, brick is good. You like brick? Feeling you good. can call that. Brick is good. <clears throat> I um I will say it is good. It is good when you have like a, a really good artist, you know, working on like the, the project and um and it was and it was really awesome to be able to just like you know sit down with Jeremy. Like it's like I, I put Jeremy through like an incredible like amount of like stress and pressure to like get it done in sort of like this like ten day period. And we burned one going to the beach, and then the other one just like arguing about like what what the puns were going to be. Oh man, yeah. Every time we went out to lunch, the lunch took way longer just because we were like, no, I don't I don't like uh, trike trike bikes or you know psych psych bikes excited bikes it was just like saying the word bike over and over for a full day it was just terrible <laughs> jeremy i have like, a question like mike's bike right right night <laughs> yeah mike's bikes michael yeah jeremy i have a question for you and a request for you the question sure. is from Justin aram who's asking do you use procreate on your ipad for illustration do you have any favorite brushes <laughs> I do use Procreate and I, I modified some of my own brushes. I have my own um, marker brush that I use for my New Yorker cartoons. But for Santa Monica, I think we used, you know, one of the default brushes called Dry Ink. Um, it sort of created a nice texture that was a little loose. And uh, yeah, and you know, I, I, I'm really simple. I really don't go with a lot of crazy things. Um, stone, everyone, stone. Stone. Stone is next, everyone. Yeah, but I love stone. Fantastic. Okay, yeah. and here is my request. Yeah. So I want to give away a copy of Santa Monica for all the people that are watching the streams. Sure. Of course. I want to showcase something, and I want to ask you for a question for those guys to answer on chat that is related to Santa Monica, but it doesn't have to do directly with the game because. People that want the game doesn't necessarily have the game. So what they can, what can you ask them about Santa Monica that they can go and look on Google or tell us from their memory and win a copy of Santa Monica? Mm, I that might be better at answering that. Let's see. Um, I hey, mean, is that a picture? We do have a card that has some like weird <laughs> uh, facts about California. So, what is the state butterfly? <laughs> That's a good question. So, if you can tell wow, me, if you can tell me the California state butterfly's name, I'm gonna nice. give you a copy of Santa Monica. Dealer's <laughs> choice, everyone. That's a good question. Dealer's yeah. choice. You, you, you know, you know, I knew a card you were referring to, and then I was like, "There's, there's no, there's nothing you can ask on that card because it's mostly a bunch of things about Jerry." Inside, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Thomas is saying that it's the modern um, butterfly. Is that true? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> is that is uh, the modern is the modern? 
I, I don't think so. That, that's not what we referenced on the card. I don't think so. No, I think it's completely yeah. wrong. Oh, I found it. Okay. Emily has the right answer. The dog face butterfly. Nice. <laughs> Did you already Correct. Okay, and then there we have we Amy. There awesome. it is. This Look is at that. The, yeah, this is the Carlo, and one of the movies that's playing at this theater is the dog face butterfly. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Uh, you know what kind of movie it is, but. Maybe a John Carpenter. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, John Carpenter, no longer on my list of people I love. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Why? Yeah. What, why did, oh. What did he do? Vampires. Screwed it up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> brick, Screwed everyone. Up. Brick. Another brick. Huh? True that. I thought you were canceling him for some reason. Josh, this is the first call of the next round, or is quit or is break, break? First, first call of the next round. First it's call a, of the it's next a personal round. cancellation due to the fact that we love that novel and the movie did not do it justice. Not um, even close. Um, so, so that card that Jeremy was talking about, there is probably like seven different jokes on it. Um, <laughs> one, it has my cat. Marsh, Marshy. Oh, uh, yeah. Marsh, 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 real Marsh. small, but there's a movie poster somewhere, I think. That yeah. Is. And then, and then also my, 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 uh, my mom's dog, Laddie, is on there too. Um, and it's called Marshy and Laddie. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I, I can't even see some of these. There's. Aren't you glad that you don't have to go through that rigmarole, Pete? Like, Maybe you get one creature, creature on a piece of art, but you're not going through the full Joshua experience of seven, <laughs> true. seven subtle puns. Oh, is that wood? Very true. Wood. What is next? Um, I you mean, are Jeremy, I love this. <clears throat> I, I will. I will say that um, one of them is Dectex, and Dectex was this pilot that Jeremy and I were in. We were like, Hey, what was the last? We were, like, what was the last call? Wood. Wood was the last call. Wood, and now it's dealer's choice. Yeah, Josh and I played like a co comedic relief duo. We were like two nerds working on this. Uh, it, it was like The Office and Star Trek put together. We were we were basically wow. like engineers on this spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's actually like it was a little bit like also very Top Gunny, right? Like because because like the main character is like the the new recruit, and he wants right. like. This, like like I think that's how it was always described to me. Yeah, uh, he was just a janitor on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Wood is next. Wood. Oh, do you do you remember um, why we called the building the Carlu? Was that the architect? Like, was that like a postmodern architect, or, or I mean, I brought sorry, art, uh, like an Art Nouveau architect? Um, I think the car the Carlu was named after Jean Carlu, who did a lot of um, posters, movie posters oh. for Chaplin. Yes, yeah, yeah and yeah. obviously Charlie Chaplin is a huge part of Hollywood history, and so we we referenced a lot of the. Yes, uh, where Bourdais was named after the architect, right? I think so. Bourdais was the architect of that hotel that 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 building is based, based off, off of Stone. Everyone, Stone. <laughs> and I'm just gonna answer a question from Ernest Marek. He's asking who's the illustrator on Istanbul, and the illustrator on Istanbul is Andreas Resk. He's also mm -hmm. the graphic designer for that game. Yeah. Yep, our German partners, they know some good German artists. <laughs> Dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. Oh, no. uh, what's been called this this round? This round we had brick. Uh, oh, it's been brick or dealer's choice. choice. Wood stone player's choice. So brick wood player's choice. Wood stone player's choice. I am very much grinding with my little my little uh, cottages here. I think we're all trying to do the same thing. I have made no cottages. Wow. And I don't plan on it. Yep. No greenhouse, no cottages. You're going to make a bunch of abbeys? Is that your... <laughs> Only two abbeys. I've got two abbeys. Oh, I could squeeze in a third. 
What's your monument? That idea. It is Mondra's Palace. I'm probably oh, not awesome. going to go for the full eight. Yeah, glass. Uh, glass, everyone is next. Yeah. Perfect. <sighs> when everybody jukes, you jive, you can win. We'll see about that. It didn't work the other day when I tried to make no chapels. <laughs> that was a um, that was a dubious choice, I think. It was. I came in. I came in second, though maybe. Second behind the Vlad. Vladimir. Say stone, Josh. Stone. I don't. I don't remember how that score ended up going because of my my crazy math error. Stone, really. Is bad <laughs> to put it eloquently. It's in the middle of everything. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh man. Uh oh wow! I see your board. That's a really uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really. Uh, I guess I will try to make another Abby. I don't know. Is this the new hotness with this three quarter board? I really like it. <laughs> yeah. All right, dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. Oh, what was after the glass, Josh? What was after the glass? It was a stone. Thank you. Yeah, so, the bad stone. Josh and Pete, have you ever considered increasing the size of the Tiny Tones board? Or the grid? Like, like as a 5x5, five five, if that's what they mean. Yes, we've considered it. And, yep. you know, we were thinking if we did like a city expansion, that's what we would do. And um, it makes the game actually um, not as fun if you just play on a five by five board because you know it's just too freeing for so mm -hmm. long. Um, but then we kind of worked on some rule sets to kind of like make it still kind of tight, but also like um, you know still have like a similar feel. You know, bigger, but would yeah, we think it would need to be it its own its own game probably. Yeah. A lot of stuff would need to be reworked, but it could be done. Brick, brick, and I am building a bakery. And what about reducing the size? Did you just call a brick, Josh? I just called a brick, and I'm building a bakery. Reducing the size, we we have talked about it and thought about it. We haven't tried that. Um, that could be really frightening. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that that is very frightening. Um, alrighty, next up. The funny thing, oh, sorry, go ahead, Josh. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, next up is stone. stone. Yeah, the funny thing about making the board bigger is you don't realize how much longer that makes the game. I mean, it's yep. it's nine more squares, yep. but that's nine times like 3.5 resources. It's it, it, took us, did, it takes us like 45 minutes to two hours. What did you just um, call, Josh? Brick and then stone. Stone is what I just called. I think I filled my board. I don't think I can play anymore. Yeah, I, I feel like the Tiny Town's board is a little bit like the baseball diamond at 90 feet to the bases. It, it is like some weirdly perfect size for mm -hmm. this game. Yeah. You fiddle Speaking with the of, board. Uh, of diamonds, one, one, of our, one of our play testers, he would always turn the board and play in a diamond fashion, so he would make like a point facing him. Madness. Weird. And, and and he just did that to to be a jerk though. Um, <laughs> talking about you, Taylor. If you're, well, if you're was that watching, back in the day when when you played with the shields and hate drafting was more of a thing. Um, so there was a time, yeah, where the game like you couldn't see other people's boards, and there actually was no hate drafting, right? Like because you didn't actually know what other people right. wanted at all. You just had to guess. Yeah. Yeah, and I I remember there was this, this discussion where. You know, I, I said, why don't we try without it? Or maybe Pete said that, actually. He was like, I don't think you need it. And I think maybe I was actually like, I don't know. It seems crazy to me. And then we played it. And then it, it feels weird. Because, like, I know one of the reasons why we considered that whole idea of, of removing the shields was because we were like, oh, uh, we're going to have all this beautiful artwork mm -hmm. and um, all that stuff. So, uh, or rather, these nice little wooden pieces. And we should like have people like be able to see these nice little houses. Um, wheat, wheat is next. Wheat. Yeah, I I was really resistant to the idea of losing the shields, um, and it, I was just wrong. <laughs> okay. I was resistant for a long time too. Yeah. 
I was um, a big fan of losing the shields. Wait, wait. So was it was it Z who suggested that idea? Um, it had been I know that I was a big fan of it because I saw us taking cost of goods out of a game that was already going to be very expensive from a cost of goods side. This is an expensive game to make. This is an expensive game to sell for forty dollars. Okay. Yes. I have a question Please. from Katerina for from Katerina Sforza for Jeremy. She's asking, mm. "What game are you looking forward to play that you haven't got already?" And then she says oh. that that's the question. The question is also for everyone here. Yeah. Uh, I got a bunch of games on the wall. Shame. <laughs> Um, all those games that Kyle Farron is illustrating, I would love to play and have a copy of, of course. Mm -hmm. So Orc sounds really fun to me, especially because, you know, I was building a little forts as a kid uh, growing up in uh, Portland, Oregon. Um, there were a lot of latchkey kids in my neighborhood. We all would, you know, play capture the flag games or when it snowed, we would build our snow forts in our yards. Um, and throw, <laughs> we would hurl snowballs and break off icicles and use them as lightsabers. Um, so I think Fort seems really cool. I mean, I love the art for Root, um, but I think Fort is 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 more of the kind of game I would play. Yeah, and that's a good that's a good choice. Um, dealer's choice, everyone. Dealer's choice. Oh, Josh, what you say after Wheat? The one before this? It was one? it was a second wheat. It went oh, wheat, wheat, that's and then dealer's choice. The double wheat always get me. <laughs> okay. Anyone else is waiting to play a game that still hasn't received? Like I have my copy of Gloomhaven behind me, and it's still closed because I haven't found a group to play it with. And right now it's pretty difficult to play it with a group. Yeah. You know, I haven't played the crew yet. I want to play that. I haven't played Blackout Hong Kong yet. I like Alexander Pfister games a lot, and I haven't played that or or his other one. What's What's this even newer one, the uh, Maracaibo? I haven't played either of those. Any of those. And those I are the games I'm like most want to play. I want to play Maracaibo. I think awesome. And mm -hmm. I also want to play uh, Silver and Gold. I haven't got a copy of Silver and Gold or Maracaibo. We're waiting to play the uh, Legend of a Drift System, which all the local 4X guys say is the, 4X, the best 4X game they've ever played. Oof. Can't wait to get that on the table. All right, next up we have a wood. You know what wood. I also have? It's still in the shrink wrap, the new edition of Eclipse, now that you mentioned 4X. Yeah. I just I just need a, uh, a group to play, and there is no way that to have a group to play right now. Yep. All right, this next one has to be a wood, a stone, or a brick for me. Uh, the pre-call, the pre-call, very good. All right, <laughs> here we go. Wood. It's wood. Wood wow. is good. Galling the double group. For everyone out there, we're running two promotions on the Alderac store. You can get greedy, greedy goblins 50% off, and you can get ecos for 20% off. So you can visit our store right now, fill out the information, and if you give us your email address to learn more about our promotions, we will give you an additional discount for your next purchase. So please oh. visit us. Double wood player's choice, John. Double wood player's oh. choice. Well, yep. players versus now. Okay. Sorry, Josh. Just trying to. So I'm very oh, sorry, uh, David. Mountain. That minus three is really painful, and I know that double wood kills. Then <laughs> Alice <laughs> is out with right. thirteen points. Thomas is out with twenty-seven. Oh. Vlad is at thirty or thirteen. 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 Wood, wood, player's right. choice. Brick is next. Wood, wood, Brick. Player's uh -oh. Brick. All right, I got a good feeling here. You got a three and five chance to give me the, the draw I need now, Josh. Well, you got to tell me what those three and five are. Wood, stone, or glass. Ooh. Wood, stone, or glass. I will call that a 50%. You're going to call it 50%. Who taught you how to do math? 
<laughs> well, I'm seeing the resources being playing, and I know how many you have in the rest of the deck, right? Yeah, because there's there's only like two two wood, right? There's already two wood out, so. Uh huh. Next up, we have stone. There you go. <laughs> Very good, sir. Alrighty. Right. And that actually is awesome for me because now I can do a dealer's choice. All right. Um, yeah, that's going to end dealer's my game. My dealer's choice is going to be to build a fountain. And everyone, um, I would be making a tree right about now uh, for, wow. for, for everyone who had AG. I'd be planting a tree. So, <laughs> way what to call tree? the shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what tree? I'm going to. I'm gonna put this little thing in there as my tree size so now. Okay, Sarah Scott is saying that she's out with 36, and that's the highest score for the day. Oh, wow. good for her. 36, 36 is gonna be a hard score to beat because of just how yeah. um, low points. Yeah, there. I absolutely low points. Like there. I got two factories, I'm not gonna be able to get there. Uh, mm -hmm. I did okay. Brick, Brick right. is okay with my no cottage in my game. <laughs> Rick is next. I just want to see the board of Ryan with all colleges going like 30 something points. There there it is, my friends. Eight cottages. Wow. Wow. That's tough, yeah. I, I have nine cottages. It's okay. Eight cottages. <laughs> I did Eight end up cottages. making three abbeys. I got three abbeys that are so oh. boring. Uh, All right. And, mountains. and a dealer's choice. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start picking it up so we can just make sure we uh, can get through a little bit. Do we have anyone still playing? I'm playing. Okay. Jer I'm Jeremy, done. Jeremy, is there any other pieces of art that we should talk about? I mean, I mean, this... there was a card that I pulled out that uh, I it came late in the game when we were designing. It's called the Camo Lodge, or the Camo oh, Lodge. Cool. It has an F that fell off. <laughs> it's a we we that's a very good play on words. Yeah, it was silly. We, I almost wanted it. I almost didn't even want to color it and just have the sand and the wooden boardwalk <laughs> and concrete go through it and it just have the line art. It, it was a dumb idea. Josh nixed it <laughs> quickly. <laughs> I think I think it, because that was like literally the last piece you maybe did. Oh, there was like maybe three more pieces of that. But I think you just were getting lazy. You're like, I don't want to color any more pieces. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, how, how, how about we just don't draw a card for this one? Stone. Stone is next. You know, Jeremy, I think one of the most beautiful things of Santa Monica as an art piece is that sand color all over the thing and that you can see it all over where and it just pops, pops out so much the rest of the things the buildings the little details they're just beautiful thank you yeah that was one of uh, josh's calls early on i remember doing a test illustration for him that was a little too sunsetty so his call to do it like just do it at the break of, of noon and just the just the, the most sun bleached beach that you can do brick brick is next that. wow Perfect. it went wood wood dealer choice brick stone dealer choice brick stone dealer's choice stone, stone brick, brick dealer's choice wow and then dealer's choice yeah so glad i am out <laughs> yeah thankfully a lot of people are out already so you don't have to deal with that nonsense <laughs> well i think john's is still playing right i am still playing but only out of spite i don't need wow to wow julian is out with 38 points and we have a new Bro, record in the chat Still right. playing. Audit. How did she get 38? <laughs> how, how are you still playing? I'm done. That's impressive. All right. Snake all. Is that all of us? Yeah. Can you give me I'm the last two results? I'm going to say wheat and then a dealer's choice, and that will end the deck. That will end the deck. Um, One, two. Okay, and I'm just going to give an extra row of resources for the rest of the people out there. Yep, I have four buildings on my thing that didn't score me any points. Five buildings that didn't score me any points, which is just killer in this setup. I, I, I will say, I will say the good thing about boards like this is that it's really easy for me to count out my score because I just count how many buildings are worth three points and then just <laughs> yep. like multiply. And I'm like, that's about it. And then I just add my monument to that and then subtract mm -hmm. the empty space. 
Um, all right. Vlad, how many points do you have today? I didn't play today, Josh. I'm handling some stuff here. So we're going to give you zero points for today, then. I know. Thank Still you. not the worst. Still not the worst, Vlad. Not an N. Not the worst. Zero. Um, all right, Jeremy, how many points zero do you have? Zero is a real score. Okay. I think I ended up with 27. 27. It's a good score. Decent, decent. Yeah. Pete? I've got 33. 33. Good, good. Nice score. Ryan? I have 33. Oh, nice. 33. Z? I have 29. Cool. 29. And I have 36. Wow. 46. Dang. Wow. 36. Oh, I, have, I have 36. I have 10 buildings that are worth three points. And then my monument is worth seven. And then this empty space here is minus one. But I'd put that there as a tree. Um, wow. Aha, well, that's, my, that's my little, I'm going to keep teasing this tree for a little while. Uh, <laughs> what monument was that, Josh? Uh, I played with the Aeroflage Vineyard. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Very nice. That's impressive. Yeah. I, I, I shuffled that one and the Person Forge into my, I keep two stacks of monuments, the Fortune ones, and then the ones that you can play without Fortune. So it is a Fortune one, but you can play without Fortune. And yeah. just, um, I saw that and I was like, oh, that should be good today. Asterisk. Um, Asterisk. Asterisk. Good game, guys. Very nice. Awesome. Jeremy, how do we yeah. find you on social media? Uh, I'm all over the place. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Jeremy Wynn. So that's J-E-R-E-M-Y-W-I-N-S. I obviously lost today, but I win in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> win, 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 win. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jeremy. And Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so everyone, um, you know, uh, who's our guest tomorrow, Vlad? Do you have that on hand? Yes, I have that on hand. Just give me one second and I will tell you. Tomorrow we have the fantastic Emma Larkins. Yeah. Oh, great. So Emma Larkins is tomorrow. Uh, so come back. Hey, thanks again, Jeremy, for, for coming and uh, answering all these fun little Santa Monica questions. I, I really hope we get to do a whole bunch of expansions so I can just tell you to draw more things. Uh, we, we've actually we, we, we've actually talked about like some of the stores that we forgot to put in like it was crazy that in all of Santa Monica we didn't put a single like vegetarian restaurant or or a coffee shop um, I think the pizza place was going to be the coffee shop and I think that's why there's no coffee shop <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone well thank you so much for coming out and playing today um, and um, you know stay safe and um, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you back tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers.